finally we have our bookshelves. It only took nearly a year. My name is Sarah from Sarah's Reading Nook and today I'm going to show you how I organize my bookshelves. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also to like, comment, and do all the fun things. Okay, so those are my bookshelves. So up top we have Fat Chance, Charlie Vega, Her Body and Other Parties. Okay, and then going down we have Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro, Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Fian. And to go with the red shelves, I have Sand and Paws Inspired at Dog Beach on the California Coast. So instead of Sand and Fog, it says Sand and Paws. Goji berry. Smells really good. I'm too short for these shelves. Okay, this is more my height. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. This is a book in Portuguese. As extrememente inconveniente, aventuras de Bronte metal stone. And I'm sure my pronunciation is still terrible. Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. <laughs> and the candle we have is Sand and Fog Goji Berry Soy Wax Blend. It smells awesome. Okay, and then over here we have my little pineapple plant holder right here. It's so cute. And I have this little spiky guy. So it looks actually like a pineapple. I love it. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Love this. So much. No perfectos desconocidos. So nine perfect strangers. I read this in English and now I want to read it in Portuguese. Bought this in Porto. I received this for Christmas from one of my partner's uh, cousins. Braiding Sweet Grass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. It looks incredibly beautiful. Now we have our purple. So here I have that vase from earlier and I decided to put a little flower in it. Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. A Faux Love Story by Lone Lee. I have a little star because that's just what I like. Okay, and now finally we're at the bottom. James Baldwin, Giovanni's Room. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. My last book is a Portuguese edition of this book. 
A Ballerina de Auschwitz by Edith Egger. So the ballerina of Auschwitz. So now we're going to go over all the stuff that I got from Lush, which it was a fair amount of stuff. Okay, but you know, February was a month. Am I right? I am right, okay. So I was asked at the store about, you know, what do I want to get? Do I have any limits? Do I have any specifics? And I was just like, as long as I can hold it, and as long as my arms don't drop to the floor, I'm, I want, I want it all. But of course I didn't get it all, you know what I mean? So the first thing that I'm going to go over is all of my favorites. And I've actually used one of my favorites already. It is this cauldron thing. I'll have the actual what it is right in here. But it's like an oatmeal, very earthy, just like lovely, maybe cardamom, I don't know. It's just all of those beautiful scents together and gosh, I love it. It's my favorite treat and I actually use it on the first day because again, February. February, am I right? February, what was with that month? Ugh. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you more of my favorite things. Okay, so this right here, that is the Lush Twilight Bath Bomb. And I stocked up on this. I got a couple of them. For me, the Twilight scent is literally the nicest scent, one of the nicest scents that I have ever smelled. I just love it. I have the body spray. Ugh, if I could like smell this every day, it's like Tonka, lavender, I think vanilla, Oh my gosh, it's the best. And there are like swirls of blue and white and oh, it's just the best bath bomb you could possibly get. I love it. And there are little stars. So of course, oh, I got a few of these. Another one of my favorites is the comforter. So the comforter is just a bubble bath bar. And it just smells kind of like berries, maybe a little vanilla. I like vanilla quite a lot. And um, basically what you do is you just crumble it under running water as the bath is going. And what I like to do is get like a maya or like a, I don't know what it's in English. <laughs> it's kind of like like stockings, I guess, the transparent stockings. And you put like, you put just a little bit in, you crumble it and you keep it in the sock or the cheesecloth or whatever. Then you tie it so that underneath the running water, this will run and it makes so many bubbles. I always get this. And when I don't have it in my life, I wish I did. So now looking in here, it looks like I have uh, three Twilight bath bombs. Might sound like a lot to you, but if I could, I would have more. Okay. I don't remember what this is called. I'll put the name up here. But I'm just gonna tell you my first impressions. Oh, it is nice. Uh, kind of spicy. Kind of berry-ish. I'm really looking forward to trying this out because it has so many different colors and I just wonder like how it's all gonna go in the bathtub. Bath bombs are such a good thing to have on bad days, which pandemic. Okay. So the next one I have. Okay. So this is a bath bomb in cheesecloth. Ooh, I like the like earthy tones. Put the name above and it is like purple in cheesecloth. I was told that I think that there are quite a bit of spices in here. So I am going to leave this in the cheesecloth during the bath. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Okay, what's the next guy? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think that I got a bath melt. I never get bath melts. Oh, this smells so good. Again, the name. Oh, it just looks so royal almost. I love how this smells. I'm so excited to try it out. You know, the thing about bath bombs is that you have to be open to the idea of keeping your bath very clean. And I am open to that because I feel like the reward is so 
great that I never regret it. Looking forward to it. Ah, here's the next one. And again, the name will be up here. Oh, it is like, it is like peachy. Hmm, this smells really good. I'm very looking forward to trying this one out. I think that the water will turn like green and this reddish color and maybe orange and peach and so excited for that. Part of the fun of the bath bombs is just, you know, taking that bit of time for yourself and, you know, allowing yourself to just have fun and relax. Okay, and the last thing I got, I have been really, really needing like a shower gel. So this is the Nana shower gel. And I smelled it in the store. Of course, in the store, you have to wash your hands when you go in. They have pre-opened bottles, which I think that they should continue to do. Oh my gosh, it is so, banana -y, and you can't see it, but it's like splurting out. So I'm just gonna like pop this in because with Lush products, every last bit counts, you know what I mean? So again, Nana, smells like bananas. Jet soft, soothe and smooth with this nourishing banana oat sensor. Banana oat, that is like comfort. So if you want to appeal to the nostalgic part of me, banana oats, I remember when I was a kid, my mother used to basically take crackers and crumble them and put them in with like some milk, because at the time I would drink milk, and she would put in bananas, so it was like crackers, bananas, and like, <sighs> it was so good. So this is very nostalgic for me, even though this is banana oat, Sometimes I would have oatmeal as well. And banana oatmeal is like one of my favorite breakfasts. I have some bananas ripening right now and I am going to do that. Okay, so that is everything that I got at Lush. And so that is everything for today. I hope that this made you think of spring. I hope that this sort of motivated you if you need to like organize or do spring cleaning. I still have a lot of spring cleaning to do. But anyway, at least one thing is checked off the list. That's everything for today. Bye.